Welcome to Graphics Flow. In this video, we're going to dig into the stock art resources that are available to you in your Graphics Flow account. So, to begin, once you log into Graphics Flow, from the left hand side, you can navigate to stock art, and you'll notice that there's three options. Stock artwork is available with design ideas, clip art, and fonts. So, let's do a quick definition. A design idea is a complete and professionally crafted concept. So one of our professional graphic designers will create a complete theme. And of course, these themes are fully customizable and editable. So notice for every one of these concepts, as you hover your mouse over a theme, you can choose uh, by clicking the ellipse icon to add a concept to an art approval. You can download a raster PNG version, or you can download the fully vector-based and interactive editable Corel Draw version or Adobe Illustrator version. So think of a design idea as a placeholder for a good idea. These are just professional starting points that can be edited, augmented, and modified a billion different ways. So a family vacation theme can be a corporate retreat theme. A corporate retreat theme could be a summer camp theme. So infinite flexibility. They're all modular concepts. Um, you can really create many permutations of these. So as we set out to build these design ideas, what we're doing is we're examining what's happening in retail. We're looking at lookbooks and trend guides. You know, we're, we're looking at what your clients are seeing in retail and on social media, and we're executing against those styles and those themes and those concepts. So again, think of a design idea as a placeholder for a concept that can be totally modular and modified to your heart's content. So these are just styles, they're not fixed, and they're not rigid. So with that said, that kind of brings definition to design ideas. Now, clip art are individual vector illustrations that are used in many of those design ideas. So here you can source individual and very specific assets. Um, so of course, we can search and filter and then download and leverage those individual parts and pieces. And this is very useful if you're building something and you just need some illustrations to speed up the process of building a custom theme. So you can download those pieces and use those offline to construct something to your heart's content. Now below that is fonts. Now in design ideas, you'll notice that there's always fonts. There's usually one or more fonts to construct those designs. All of the fonts that are used in the construction of those designs are available here where you can download by clicking the little download icon individual fonts. However, what we would recommend is you know, when you're a new graphics flow user, Notice the very top right, there's an option that says download all fonts. This will let you download a zip file with all of the fonts that are available here. And you ought to install all, all of those fonts so they're immediately accessible. So when you download a design idea and you open that in Corel or Adobe Illustrator, you won't be greeted with a font substitution message because those fonts are natively installed on your computer. So again, think about downloading and installing all the fonts. It takes moments to do, it's super easy. And those fonts will always be accessible to you for other projects. But also as you download a design idea, those fonts will be immediately available and you'll begin to edit those uh, designs uh, without any other friction. So that's a quick overview of the stock artwork and the categories of stock art. I will point out that on a monthly cadence, we are delivering 30 new concepts every month. So that's both design ideas and any of the illustrations used in the construction of those design ideas will also be uploaded. So we'll notify you, we'll always give you a sneak peek of what you can expect for the forthcoming month, and then we'll give you notification of what's just been released. And that content will always be, the freshest, newest content will always be at the top, the design ideas and clip art. Now let's talk about how to search and really how to filter and really manage and access and take full advantage of all this content. And what I want to do principally is really make the point of the value of this content. This isn't just clip art and stock artwork. This is all about sales enablement. And we have know enough about the industry and we've heard enough to know that if you're the business that can put ideas and concepts and themes and styles in front of a customer before your competition, you're much more likely to win that opportunity. So think of these as simply ideas to present to clients to get a general sense of what they want, what's gonna move the needle, what style really interests them, have them be involved in the decision-making process versus guessing, versus having them go onto the internet to find concepts uh, with the likelihood that they might trip across potential competitors. So with that said, this is all about getting good ideas in front of customers fast, 
um, so you can speed the sell cycle and the decision making process. So let's talk about how to really tap into stock art. First thing I want to show is at the very top right, which is the ability to search stock art. This is a global search, meaning if I enter in a search term like soccer, for example, so let's say we have the opportunity to do a, a branded merchandise campaign for a soccer camp, I could type in soccer, which is a keyword. Graphics Flow is going to show me all of the matching design ideas, all of the matching clip art, and then any potential font that might have a match. So what I can do is click on see all to see all of the matching designs that are associated to soccer. And notice that oftentimes you're going to see multiple versions of the same file. So for this, you know, Twin Lakes adventure theme that you see uh, displaying first, there's a full color file, uh, then there's a two color file, and then there's a single color iterate. So this is a great way to let you make a decision about what concepts you want to present. Maybe you're going to do a heat transfer, single color screen print, whatever it might be. You can choose which version of the file you think would be ideal. So much of this content is always available in different contemplations, full color, two color, and single color to again give you better capabilities and better decision making. So that's how you search and how you find but you'll notice there's, there's uh, beyond using the global search, you can select and search by category. So in this case, I can click on camp and I can see all the concepts for camp. Uh, and you'll notice that the soccer term still is here from when I did a search earlier. So I used a category um, and then I used a key term together. So I can back out that search term, which means now Graphics Flow is going to find all content that's in the camp category. So I'll point out that you can search by category and you can even do individual subcategories. You can even refine your results by style. So here I can really drill down to say I want to find themes that are more athletic in nature versus playful versus circular. So we categorize all of this content by style as well to give you additional filter results. And then you notice in the filter results I can type in a term. So maybe I want to find summer camp themed you know, graphics. Again by typing in summer and because we have the category camp that gives me even better ways to refine the content here. Now in terms of actually taking advantage of this content, notice if I hover my mouse over any file, I have the ability to click the ellipse icon where I can add to an existing art approval. So I can search and then choose an art approval to add that theme right to an existing art approval. I also have the ability to download a raster PNG, a Corel file, and an Adobe Illustrator file. And these are prepared specifically for Corel and specifically from Illustrator. Uh, so you can you know, import that and edit and you know, make changes and personalizations and then you can reintroduce it into Graphics Flow as an art approval or you can upload it to my art to store it and manage it. So you can see the relationship of the different workspaces working together here. All right, so uh, the other thing to point out here, I can always click on a file to get a, a detailed view. So at any point in time, you can click on any of the stock artwork where you, know, you can see searchable tags that were introduced here. You can see the font that is in use for this particular file. And again, you have some key actions. I can add to an art approval, as we showed you earlier, and you can also choose to download that content. So in that download function, I can choose to download as raster or vector. And I can always hit the back arrow to go back to my main workspace here. Now, the other thing to consider here, there is a sort function where you can see recent first, oldest first, and alphabetical. So Graphics Flow, we're adding content every single month. This will become a useful way for you to see the most recent content first, which is always default. Um, but of course, you can choose to sort and view these in, in different ways. Now, the same function I just shared with you is available for clip art. So you have the ability to do a search of clip art. You can browse by category. And you can, of course, do filter, uh, filter your search results uh, from that category selection. And we really talked about everything you need to know about fonts, which is the ability to download individual fonts. But our recommended method is to download all and install all of those fonts. And that way you have those at your disposal on your machine for use at any point in time. So that's really everything you need to know about stock art in Graphics Flow. Again, we release new, fresh content on a monthly cycle. We do a tremendous amount of research and development to again understand what's forthcoming. Uh, our team, uh, you know, beyond doing that research in terms of styles and projecting you know, what, what um, consumers are gonna see from popular retailers, the other thing we try to do is sort of forecast and, and provide content in advance of when you'll need it. Meaning, you know, providing you with holiday content, 
you know, 60 days in advance of upcoming holidays gives you the opportunity to, again, tap into this artwork to proactively use to put ideas in front of clients. So you can see the relationship of stock artwork with art approvals and graphic presentations. So make sure to use all of these tools in tandem to create the greatest sources of synergy. Now at any point in time, if you ever need help, uh, I'll always remind you that when you go back to a main workspace here, at the top right you have a little help and resource icon where you can go to our help center, tap into all of our training videos, see release notes. Um, but at any point in time you need assistance, make sure to reach out to the graphics flow uh, experts. We're always here to answer questions, share insights, and help you make the most of graphics flow.